Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I will be talking about my first bad experience with a developing lab. Last month I sent a role to be developed. Um, let me explain how things work here in my area of Italy. So there's a camera shop where they receive roles and they send these roles to a developing lab which a, there's a few of them here in Italy or in my area and yeah so I sent a roll of uh, Lomography Lomochrome which has to be developed with a C41 chemical but this this is what the, um, the shop owner uh, told me so he got a call and he said that, and they said that one of the workers um, misdeveloped my role. So because there's written a lomochrome, he interpreted as ectachrome, which is a slight film, and slight films has uh, have to be developed by a different type of chemical, but. He could not explain why he he only read the chrome part and he he decided to develop um a color negative film as a slide film, so basically all of the pictures are ruined um I waited a week because usually um i I wait for uh, I wait about a week or ten days or two weeks max. So three weeks have passed, I received a call from the shop owner and he explained this to me. At the end of the day, I, I got my money back, which is 15 euros, almost the, the same price of the, the um, a roll of Lomography uh, Lomochrome. Now, let's put aside, you know, I got my money back and so on. There are things that somehow do not um receive a, a do not receive justice um all the pictures are take that I've taken in that role are gone so a so money cannot replace those pictures and this kind of mistake is unacceptable in these day because back in the day for example um labs used to develop at least 10,000 rolls a day back back when film was the only thing that you take your picture with but in the digital era I think they at at max 100 rolls a day at max so this kind of mistake cannot be um, cannot happen because you know you develop less there's less thing to do there so there's less mistake so this had happened to me and it made me it makes me question if film photography is still a prevalent or is still you know still not dead um and sometimes it I just turn back to to instant photography because those are more reliable some except polaroids but some of the Polaroids now are, are quite reliable. The Fujifilm is very reliable. I do not have to send my instant um, photograph to a lab so someone could see what's inside. And to beep, and I have to pay more to print. Now, things are getting more expensive when you progress. I do not develop at home. Maybe I should, but I cannot. I do not own a a scanner, so at the end of the day, it is a very expensive hobby for some. And if you're not a professional, sometimes it is it isn't a viable um, hobby or solution. So in the first uh, three picture you might have already seen are the only three picture out of thirty six that I was able to to understand what I've taken the picture of and I was able to to recoup it from the rolls. The rest are just dark uh, negative. I've worked a lot for 
this um this film i've i've went to the mountains i've taken picture of the landscapes i went to padova i've taken picture of the city and i went to trieste i've taken the, the i've taken picture of um castello di miramare the miramare castle and i went to trieste with it so it is a a a long progress of work i might have it might have taken me two months or even more to, to finish this role so yeah just a mistake just a one mistake all of those work are gone so yeah this is what's going on and I might end the, the, the video now and yeah so just comment below if you think that film photography is still a viable a hobby because yeah I, this is my first ever bad experience with with film